Hi there, Collective. This is for the Collective. I hope that it resonates with you. I'm doing it this time before all of the rest instead of kind of sandwiched in between, really so that my reflection back on the reading can help with all the other readings. So let's see what's going on. And we're gonna use uh, the Tarot of Oppositions. And we'll see what messages we have for the collective as I open up for spirit teams, spirit guides, angels, beings that have a good intent um, on helping come in here and help. All right. Great. Whoa. Messages for the collective. Messages for the collective. King of Pentacles is coming out as like the first card. I didn't even have to, you know, say, but we are doing a Celtic cross, so it's okay. Um, King of Pentacles upright like that means something's going to go a little bit better. When it comes to business, we're talking like uh, mastery of business ideas, um, practices, theories. Um, it's the application of like what you know. And boy, whatever it is that you know, because that came out right when I said that. It's having, this is having that epiphany, the aha moment. Perhaps this is representing a business or and, and I don't mean so in this card really all we see is the lightning and, and the light so there is some kind of epiphany it goes hand in hand with something to do with really good um, commitment to like finances family um, this could also be a patriarch figure or the husband but take you know take it <clears throat> genders as you know uh, the energies so heart of the matter this person is just like head um, of household for sure and business and business and here's your victory wow and there's your victory six of um, wands whatever you have recognized or whatever knowledge you had that helped a situation it helped others too didn't just help you um because that's the card of like some kind of uh, public recognition reward um merit somebody literally picking you up and putting you on your high horse you look really nice in your um shiny new gear so there may be some kind of award too. There, this person has confetti and a wreath. There could be a get together or something like that. It can be, this is the, the heart space, you know, so that the heart might feel very victorious. We have the challenging energy Scorpio, Taurus attributes, and maybe Leo. Past? Mm -hmm. So I feel like you got out of a commitment uh, making making a big move from the past usually the ace of cups if it's in the reverse it's kind of a, during a period of your life where you're needing to give the love to yourself the most something might have not been successful or just didn't work out regarding um participation in, in whatever commitment that was or that that could represent so self-love self-care Tell me about the crowning energy. <clears throat> crowning energy for the collective. The eight of wands in the reverse. The crowning energy is, we may be having to get through some, some kind of news of a hurdle, getting by, past a hurdle. Um, when I see that that card, there's another oracle card. I think it says something about control your anger. And 
or uh, you know our actions so control ourselves or we will be sorry you know with what we have to deal with that after that it might feel good expressing yourself but maybe afterwards we might not want to deal with the consequences of that so could be either waiting on news to help you over a hurdle or you're waiting um, or you are actively trying to get over some kind of news whatever this news was I feel like the storm here is in the past and that we're probably still dealing, like I said, with the effects. I have a lot of um, wand energy crowning and um, here in the heart area. So Leo and Sagittarius energy is really strong. <clears throat> Tell us about the future, future energy. This could be a breakdown in communication also. Could be issues with communication needing to keep lines of communication up if something if you feel like something was miscommunicated making a chance making sure to go back reflect on something and then go back and correct whatever it is um i also have the king of cups and this is in the reverse this is a guy with a face that looks like like he's the reason all of that stuff is summoned <laughs> behind him. Like he looks like his anger is, is kind of um, in sync with everything around at the time. I think that's the main message is that there's something that feels like it's going to be more in the environment <clears throat> that could trigger you or make you upset or angry. Um, we'll get clarifying. We're going to use Osho Zen Tarot to clarify. And we'll find out more about that King of Cups. So tell me more about how the collective will be feeling other, other than us knowing that that's kind of not, not that great. But how are we feeling right now currently? How are we feeling currently? <clears throat> like the angel that you are. <laughs> You're feeling like the angel that you are. You're feeling like your presence, your prayers, um, your spirit team is helping balance a situation out where people wouldn't be normally getting along during a time like this. It might be a very dramatic or drama filled time. And, um, yeah. And so the temperance might be this kind of like divine energy, um, where patience is needed. So perhaps waiting on news is, is, um, important. With patience, I feel like like you might be feeling like the peacemaker. You might be feeling like the earth angel that you might be. Um, trying to help things be calm and peaceful during this time. Tell me about <clears throat> in the environment. We well, might be near a lake or body of water where you see somebody fishing like this. That's really nice. That's lovely. Um but what we see actually on the card are two swords in a boat and um almost like a wand so to me it's like a decision um with some kind of ace of wands energy that you're going towards and i feel like you're definitely moving from like so this would be relocation or travel is what's coming across to me as the six of swords and it's something that happens rather quickly that's in your environment. Okay, so news of somebody moving or leaving is, is somebody's story out there. Um, or this is, yeah, I mean, because we're either upset, one, because we want to go and can't or aren't going, or that somebody's moving away. So you could be feeling really strong chemistry um, with somebody at this time or even even divinely um like things are moving and changing gears are, are shifting all for your highest good and temperance is kind of knowing that and having this patience or peace within you tell us about um the hope or fear the three of wands that you get bored <laughs> or that you end up waiting for a long time poking rocks in the dirt for fun 
<laughs> because you're bored or because you're not inspired with where you're sitting at the current moment. You don't see, like you've waited a long time. You don't see what you think is coming or what you thought was coming. That, by the way, is probably a fear waiting on some news that, has, that doesn't feel like it's coming. That could be, you know, that would make the person angry too. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Um, uninspired, because it could be a lot. I mean, just with, with the card, the cards themselves give a whole lot. Um, so tell us about the outcome for the collective. Outcome for the collective. And we'll clarify. Oh, See, I do have, I have infatuation type energy, um, and there's the two of swords, so like what we saw in that card with the two swords standing up, there's the card that would represent that, two of swords. Um, then you have, okay, so you have the devil, technically it's in reverse, um, technically there's still like addiction or infatuation, but it's with things that are good and beneficial to you. So it's not a problem. You have to make a decision. It doesn't really, it feels like you're probably this angel to somebody. Um, and maybe you are at this point in your life. <laughs> maybe you've done something that is, it's a real, like overcome very hard challenge and you are victorious and you're going to sit in that peaceful state. Um, free from negative attachments, free from the addictions that were pulling you down or no, only doing the things that have been showing you good benefits. Um, and this could be your, it, you, somebody could be very infatuated with you for sure with that um, card like that. <clears throat> Obsessed, but, but this is like, I don't know, it's something good. It's not bad necessarily. There is a decision to make. There is... Um, A feeling like either, yeah, like you don't know exactly what to decide. You know that you can decide. You may be postponing something, um, but there is something to decide. It doesn't tell us much. <laughs> tell me about, um, so tell us about the challenging tower here. Let's go ahead and just face, face that first. Tell us about the challenging tower. Oh, okay, so I said something feels like it could be uninspiring. If we lost confidence in somebody, maybe Leo, Aries, or Sag, but there's um, an epiphany or something like that. And, and yes, it, it was less than inspiring, so it was not inspiring. It's a, it's a, and if it's a tower from the past, then it's being represented there as like this is a past thing that's just still barely burning slow burn is that what they say it's a, slow, it's a love that or a situation that has a slow burn but something is really resolving when you're focused on your finances the king of pentacles this Taurus energy it it can be regarding commitment or um somebody that it maybe is ready to commit wants to commit to you or already feels committed to you five of cups upright and the hermit in reverse this is a person with integrity that will help you on your journey to find more out about yourself and how we can integrate the things from our past that we're clinging on to, keeping us trapped in some kind of like box, <laughs> right? And so this, this is the person of integrity you have to come out of your shell possibly to mingle with or to talk to. But this meeting is usually somebody on your journey that, that you are meant to run into at this time. Now, and I think it's, um, this is somebody that helps you integrate the past so that you can move forward, not is of the past. This person might be of the past. Or this person, Sagittarius, Aquarius, or Scorpio. Maybe Virgo. Um, okay, so, and, and and maybe focusing on finances is what is necessary because that's what's needed. 
So you may have this focus with the devil card in, in a good position for strategy, planning on the material realm, doing really good. The thing, like I said, the things that are helping you, not hurting you. It can be some kind of infatuation, but look, we've got victory. Capricorn and Leo energy too. And then they got another eight of ones in the reverse. <clears throat> so maybe they're saying for you to feel that victory or feel that good news before um, before it, it's even here. You know what I mean? Feel it before it's here. So this is either a trip, a commute, is something, it's going somewhere and it's much more calm. Six of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords and where we're going. Well, it is somewhere where we must have patience again. <laughs> it's patience again. So temperance with how you're feeling and then in the environment is that you've invested into something. You're going to go where you're being directed or leaded to go and keep investing. You know that something's just on a cycle and you aren't letting competition um, or distractions keep you from focus. So focus is really important at this moment as well as patience and you know everything is going to turn out just fine. Um, not participating in any silly games. All right, so maybe this is about a lot about divine timing with temperance and the seven of pentacles. You could be in this place where you're wanting um, things to stay peaceful, so you're planning for whatever ever disruption possibly could come. Like you know what I mean? So just being ready, not being necessarily planning for it. I don't know how else to word that, but <clears throat> so tell me what the patience is. Four and the divine timing with the temperance and the seven of pentacles. What is that about? Oh, with the fresh new start that you had already thought of when you decided to do that inner work, reflecting and going within, you're ready to come out now. You're ready to see it go without <laughs> like not go without you know what i mean you're you're ready to see something manifest in your environment and so and so that's just to me like the readiness and and being patient with yourself while things manifest that you have already set into motion you know tell me about king of cups um nine of cups in the reverse this is <laughs> either upset because of unrequited love or some okay upset that somebody's leaving again eight of cups that somebody's leaving somebody's choosing or you might be choosing something that you know is not the best for you with the eight of swords in the reverse you're not feeling stuck or restricted anymore and then i have the knight of pentacle in the reverse um I think you can safely say that somebody made you upset because they chose, they could have whatever they wanted and they ended up choosing things that were bad for them. Um, so no, you don't feel guilty or, or bad for feeling this way at all because they didn't come through for you or they put you in a position where you're still waiting, waiting, waiting and something is just infinitely slow and upset that somebody left a situation. All right, so crowning energy, or is going to leave, is to put your arms out and trust the universe. Um, it's the Knight of Cups, in the Osho Zen Tarot, but I think it's really um, talking about the trust in the in the process and trust in um, the journey here, and trust that the news is going to be good. I mean, you have to. You just think. You just think by looking at that card that this person's going to be all right. Okay, so three of wands. Tell me about that. Three of wands energy. This could be an unexpected proposal, uh, business, or romance. Either one. It's a tower in the reverse. This is like tired of waiting on something to expand or rebuild that never did. And that's the hope or fear. So rebuilding or, or 
or even going after that is is not inspiring to you right now the seven of wands says you're gonna um feel possibly a little bit stressed during this time as things unfold but your focus is really good and you're able to do like a whole lot of things at, at one time you're also able to um focus in on any signs or synchronicities that point you in the right direction watching out for those distractions sometimes they're to throw you off right so what's this decision with the two of swords what's this decision oh it's about on what you're going to design or build next. It's about how your perspective has taken on many different different dimensions now. Um, as above, so below. There's a little bit of everything in this, but it's definitely adding dimension. And you see that um, looks like looks like wings, or this person has wings in um, some kind of energy form. So that's really pretty, too. Um, it's the hangman energy. Oh. And there's the devil again. You are um, way more than just a sheep. Uh, so look, it's telling you to look at your reflection and know that you are, um, well, the lion inside. Um, but that is the devil energy. So knowing that you're not just part of the sheep, you're not part of the flock. You are something unique is what its point is. Okay. And some tea leaves for you. I like it. I like it. I like it. Bowl, plenty of material things. Wind chimes, peace and harmony. A cat, a two-faced friend. Dragon, beware of self-delusion. Ram, a stubborn or aggressive person. Um... I have a lover's card wanting to pop out on top of that kipper deck, but wasn't planning on using that one. There's Archangel Raphael for you. Consult a nutritionalist. I turn over my eating to you and ask you to guide me to foods and beverages that are good and fulfilling, supporting my ideal height and weight. And says, give us your cares. Be willing to release anything to basically your angels and your spirit team. And to fully fully guide you in this situation. Okay, and then I have music, fairies dance in the green hollow where the music plays the joy will follow. I also have wisdom. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Heat advice from an older person which will allow you to move on. I also have planning. Now is the time to lay down foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. And change a change of residence, partner, career, or job is on the cards. You're restless in need of change, and that is exactly what's coming your way. So that's what I've got for you, Collective. Sending you love and light. If you need a private reading, you can reach out to me in the description box below is that information. And until next time, bye-bye.